Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm back from my trip from Australia. <laughs> yeah, so I couldn't, like, do anything, did she? <laughs> yeah, I was in a bulletproof case. Yeah, just in case any angry villagers came and... Yeah. You know the story. Um, anyway, getting to the show. Today, we're going to talk about what I think are the three best books ever written. Ever, 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 ever. It's the Twilight series. The Twilight series starts with Twilight, then goes on to New Moon, and then to Eclipse. To Eclipse, three here. Yep. This is a great series. It is like the best series ever. And it's about some vampires. <laughs> <sighs> Hi, Sangha. What are you doing here? I'm so sorry I'm late. Somebody locked my um, my room star door. Wow, I wonder how that could happen. <laughs> yeah. Um, what are you wearing? It's my fangs, silly, with blood. <laughs> Why, may I ask? Duh, vampires, the books that we're interviewing. <laughs> okay, people. Sangha, the vampires in this book don't have things. They don't turn into bats, and they don't live in the sewers and all that other stuff. And they don't melt in the sunlight. They don't? No, 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 no. These books are more how do you put it, realistic, even though they're fantasy. Like, these books are so good, they like, when Stephanie Myers, that's the author, describes the vampires in this book, they don't have super fangs or anything like that, and they don't turn into bats, like me. But what they do is that the vampires, they run really, really fast instead of fly, they don't have fangs. They're absolutely gorgeous. And I'm not going to tell you, but they don't melt in the sun. You'll have to read the books to find out what really happens when they're in the sun. That's one of the big mysteries. Oh, now I remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. These books are quite wonderful. They got number one in New York Times when Harry Potter was number nine. Yep, and there's three books so far, and you already know that there's Twilight, New Moon, and Eclipse. But this August, the fourth one's coming out. It's called Breaking Dawn. Yes, Breaking Dawn is coming out in August, and it's the fourth book in the series. Stephanie Myers is also coming out with other books, too. She, they, she wrote a really good book called The Host. And we'll interview that one maybe sometime later. But she wrote that book, and she's also working on some more books. Like these. The movie is also coming out 12-12-08. I can't believe it. It is so exciting. We all guessed that it would come out in 2010, but they changed it. It's 2008. Woohoo! I'm so excited this December. Yes, we're both excited. We're both going to go see the movie, and... When we do, we'll give you an interview. And when we read Breaking Dawn, we'll also get interview that, too. Yeah, they are like the best books ever. You can pick up the books at a library, or you can buy them at a bookstore. I recommend the library, because if you do not like the books, which I doubt that you won't, then you don't have to buy it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if for more thrills, get them on recording. They sound so way better. And, like... You get more into the books because you can just sit there and listen. You don't have to read and then try to get all the words. Like me. I listen to it in recording. Yay. Well, well. The Breaking Dawn comes out this August and the movie comes out this December, 2008. We are both excited for these movies. Now, these movies are absolutely fantastic and we totally recommend them. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the end of our show today. See you guys later. Bye. 
Shake your booty, shake your booty, shake your booty, shake your booty, yeah, yeah.